Le CNRS est le premier organisme. The CNRS is the leading research institution in Europe with an annual budget of 3.3 billion euros. It has a staff of 34,000 employed directly by CNRS, but if we include the 1,200 laboratories, that figure rises to about 115,000. The IT department at CNRS, which has 130 to 150 people, manages CNRS's entire IT management system. That's about 90 applications. My department has 30 to 35 people, and we're still recruiting. We deal with infrastructures, operation of the various applications, and the range of services offered to laboratories. We have a number of restraints, such as lower employment ceilings, which will impact the choice of solutions. Our goal is maximum automation. We also have financial restraints. With that in mind, the IT department decided to re-internalize its services. Outside SAP, in an in-house data center at the IN2P3 Computing Center at Villaban near Lyon. The private cloud we're setting up uses the various building blocks offered by the VCF, the Cloud Foundation Solution. So everything that's software defined, hence driven by the software. vSAN for storage, NSX for networks, of course vSphere for computing, also vRealize automation for higher layers, as well as VRO, VROps for platform monitoring, VRNI for network management, in short, all the building blocks offered by VMware. This platform has several advantages. Firstly, we streamlined the number of servers. Starting with about 90 machines, we're now down to just 24 servers, so it's easier to maintain. It's a resilient solution, as will be on two sites. If one site goes down, something we can't afford to let happen today, our IT systems will continue to run. For security too, as with micro-segmentation, in particular, infrastructure security will be a lot more advanced than it is today. Finally, we also have environment deployment. Full applications, which used to take between one and two weeks, but in the future will only take a few minutes. We also add complementary tools to VMware, especially Rubrik for backup, which means we now get reduplication rates of 70 to 80 percent, which is also very good. In addition to the usual support from Dell and VMware consultant teams, we also talked a lot, especially at VMworld, with the VCF business unit, which took our requirements into account in its roadmap for future versions. So the versions coming out today cover precisely the requirements that we have, for example, for stretched clusters and that type of thing. We have even more projects in the pipeline, especially the whole DevOps project, which will enable end users, departments, and the project owners we work with to implement applications a lot more frequently, a bit like we do with our personal smartphones or tablets today.